Well, welcome back to Terra Firmcraft. We're into episode number three now. When last you left me, I was waiting away the night. And as you can see, morning is about to arrive, but it's not the morning of the night when you left me. I decided I had to take a day out and uh, a game day, spend a game day just gathering some resources I need. So as you can see, I've got a bunch more firewood here. Um, I also gathered some sticks and made a bunch of torches. They're gonna, you'll see those will come in handy soon. And I went out and collected a bunch of clay, uh, which we're also going to need, hopefully later on. If we can find a uh, tetrahedrate today, which I'm hoping we will, then we're going to need that. Um, the other thing I did was, if you remember those pepper, those uh, red bell pepper pan pants, <laughs> plants, um, that we found earlier, or that I found earlier, uh, I got the, this guy from. Um, I went back over those to see whether they had uh, borne any new fruit yet, but no, they're still just in the flowering stage. So I wandered around a bit looking for something else to eat. As you can see, I'm getting low on stuff here. I've only got these two, uh, two garlic and this one red bell pepper left. And, you know, I'm already one, uh, one segment down on my food bar. So this is going to, this is going to get interesting. So let's just first check to see if any heebly greeblies are around. It looks like not, so we can get on our way, and I got a couple other things to talk about while I walk. Let's have an axe in hand just in case. And the tetrahedrite is this way, okay. Um, so a few things that you may have already noticed when you went to the video. Uh, one is that it's now available in high definition format, 720p. Uh, related to that is even if you watch it in uh, in the smaller viewer, it'll be of higher quality because YouTube has this stupid thing where it assumes that if you watch in the smaller viewer, you also want lower quality. So it compresses the videos more heavily. So they look crappy, like not just smaller, but they actually look crappier in the smaller viewer too. So, so by uploading these things in, in as 720p high definition, uh, it also means that the lower res 360 or 480, whatever, you get in the smaller player, uh, that that's going to be better too. And the reason I'm able to do that now, oh, sorry, one other thing I should point out, I don't know if you can notice it, but I certainly can, is I'm not getting all the lag, or I shouldn't say lag, I'm not getting all the stuttering as I move along, like before it's going pop, 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 as I go along. And that's gone now. Uh, I'll still get the longer lags when, uh, just a bit of it there now, when uh, Terra Firmacraft is doing its uh, world gen. But that stuttering I was getting before, that was caused by the video capture program that I was using. And I got around that by writing my own. I wrote a little plugin, or not plugin, a little uh, mod for Minecraft that uh, captures the frames right off of the card from inside the game and then writes them out completely uncompressed, just writes out raw pixel data to the disk drive, because that's what slows everything down with the video captures, the compression time. So I just have this big honking empty drive and I stream them all out to that. And then, uh, and then after the game's over, I run a separate program to convert that into a video, the video you're watching now, and go have a sandwich while it does so. So we're going to start collecting, start hitting these rocks here to see if we can find any more uh, tetrahedrite in the area. Ah, uh, oh, no, I don't think that's tetrahedrite. Sphalerite, I want sphalerite, I want tetrahedrite. Oh, no, don't tell me it's going to be all sphalerite now. That's going to bump me out. Oh, no, no, there we go. Ah, that's a tetrahedrite. Okay, now I'm going to mark these. Before I was marking them by putting down... Should be a marker there. Yeah, a cobblestone. But it takes a pick. Oh, there's another one. It takes a pick to take up that cobblestone, right? Which is going to be a pain since we don't have a pick yet. And uh, whereas by putting down torches, A, they're more visible, particularly at night. And they're easy to take up. And they're valuable later on. They have uses later on. Right. So the reason I'm marking all these is because wherever I find one, it indicates that more or less directly underneath is part of the deposit. So if I want to, oh, there's a plant here. Oh, 
Can I get something edible off this guy? Beans. Give me some beans. How many beans do I get? Four. Oh, I'm almost more excited about the beans than I am about the... Oh, and there's more beans over there. Okay, I'm definitely excited now. Beans, beans. They're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. The more you fart, the better you feel. So eat those beans at every meal. What was I saying? Oh, well, yeah. So these things will... When I'm done collecting a whole bunch of these, I'll be able to sort of look at where the where all the torches are positioned, all the markers. And I can pretty roughly figure that the uh, deposit is more or less in the center. Oh, look at all that I'm getting here. I had three at home already. I've got nine here, so I'm past 10. I got more than 10. So I've got enough to make one tool. I've got enough to make a pick. Nothing up here. Can we get to, what do I need? I'd need 17, so with the three at home, that would give me enough for a pick and another tool. I need a tool to be chosen at a later time. Nothing up here. No. Oh yeah, we have found one on the other side, so I'll have to go over there and have a look too. What about you? No. Okay, anything else here? Nope. Mm, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure but I think um, that, you know, if I find an ore here, like I said, it means that there's the, the bigger ore body in the, you know, that I want to mine is more, is more or less directly beneath it. But I don't know how far down it, it will be. But I, the impression I've been getting from, oh, well, that just ruined my theory right there that I was going to expound on. But the impression I get from having played so much terraforming craft is that there is a, there is a, like a, an up and down range. Oh, I don't want the rain. Let's check the time here. Okay, it's only noon. There is an up and down range that it has to lie within. So if you get too high up above it, above the deposit, then you'll stop getting rocks for it. So I was noticing. Yeah, see, it's not holding true now. But I was noticing before that as I got higher up, I wasn't seeing any. So that was giving me. I thought that was giving me a bit of a clue that. The uh, deposit was deeper. Fifteen, two more. Come on, two more. We can do this. But that seems not to be the case. However, not seeing anything up here. Okay, well, let's get over the other side. Oh, I missed some. I'll get them on the way back. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you guys will bear some fruit for me. That's a sphalerite. That's a sphalerite. Another sphalerite. It's very disappointing. Oh, that was one. One more. One more tetrahedrite. I have enough for two tools. That's going to be interesting. Ah, there we go. I now have enough for two tools. Yes. Let's go for three. Three would help remove a difficult decision from me. Although given my uh, state of my food, I probably would have to go a certain way. So the two tools, uh, there we go, another one. The two tools that I, like pick is the thing I need the most. But for second most, it's hard to say. It would either be a shovel, or a prospector's pick. Now, a prospector's pick, if you played the game already, you know what it is. If you haven't, like, if you've played TFC before, you know what a prospector's pick is. If you haven't, uh, what it does is it can detect ore. And it's not like the world's best detector, but it helps you quite a bit to narrow down uh, where ore is underground. So, Without it, I'm just going to end up, like, dig, like I say, digging down in the middle of where all these torches are. And hoping that I run into it. And I probably won't be directly beneath me, so I'll have to branch out to the sides and try and find it before my pick wears out. So there's a chance of failure there. Um, the prospector's pick, well, it won't guarantee that I find it would certainly bring the chances of success to be, like, very much in my favor. 
Yeah, with note here. So that sounds good, right? We get a pro get ourselves a prospector's pick, and uh, and we find ourselves a whole lot more ore. Oh, gotta watch the time. Oh, yes, time to go here. There's something comes that way. And then once I get that, once I find the uh, ore deposit, then I have as much ore as I could ever want. Now the problem with that is my food situation is pretty critical. So the other option is I get a saw. Now with a saw, I can create all I can create wooden planks out of logs. <laughs> Forgot to disable something here. And uh, it's just a reminder program. I don't know if you saw it or not. I'll find out when I edit the video. And with the wooden planks, I can build a bucket. And the pick will let me build a quern. And with a bucket, I, I can get water. With a quern, I can grind up some of those uh, grains I have into flour. And water and flour and a bit of heat gives me bread, something I can eat. So my food situation may mean that I should really go for the saw. But having picked up those beans, I think I now have enough food. Uh, skeleton there. I think I now have enough food to survive long enough to, uh, to go do some mining. Like survive another day or so. Oh, I left this too long. Spiders. Oh, shit, I don't like spiders. Spiders and guys with uh, bows, and there's a creeper. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's my home. There's my home. Made it. Ah. Okay. Okay. So how many beans ended up with eight beans? Yeah, beans don't give you a lot, but still eight. I think, actually, I think two beans. Oh, actually. Beans give me as much as the other ones. I must be thinking... Oh, I'm thinking soybeans. Or no, I'm thinking of the grains. That's right. Oh, okay, so, yeah, I've got lots of food. So, that decides that. Yeah, we don't quite have enough. But look in here. In my ceramic missile. I have three tetrahedrite. Three of these small guys. And that only gives me 26. I'd need 30 to be able to make three tools, so... We'll put six of them back. And... This guy's full, put him away. So the next thing, next thing uh, I'll show you how to do is we're going, oh, I'm going to need uh, one of these guys here, is how do we smelt this uh, tetrahedrite to, like it's a it's an ore that has, you know, oxides of copper and various compounds of copper in it. How do we get the copper out? We have to smelt it. Um, to do that, we need to heat it to a reasonably high heat inside a clay vessel like this. So I need an empty clay vessel. I put my tetrahedrite inside. And I put it at the bottom of this pit. Now you may remember from the first video, I think it was the first video, is I fired up some... Uh, that's how I originally made these clay pots, was in the bottom of this pit. In the bottom of a pit. So I'm not going to... don't want to waste an entire firing just on that. So we're going to need some clay molds. So you see here I can make two clay molds. And we're gonna want... Hmm, well we definitely want to pick... And we're gonna want a prospector's pick. So this is the pattern for that. If you haven't played TFC before, 
Now, do I try and skate by with just one mold? Well, it's guaranteed to give me at least one tool. And it should give me more. So, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. So, I've only got room for three more things in this firing. So, I'm going to do the two tools and one mold. Alright. Another mold can rest there for the moment. Uh, the next thing. Just like we did before, fill this thing up with 15 of these straw. Okay. And then we need one of these log balls. Oops. Fill the rest of these in. Uh, see, this fire starter, I think it's only got one shot left in it. Oh, it had two and it made it. Okay, so now we're going to wait eight hours for that to come through. Don't worry, I'll hold you here for eight hours. <clears throat> Just, let's see if there's anything else I can do that's of interest here. Um, well, I can at least get myself fed up a bit. Well, that's something else, I, if any of you are aware... Uh, there's a bug, it's a Minecraft bug, not a TOC bug, but carries over into TOC. Where if you're eating stuff, if you've got a stack of food items and you're eating them, sometimes it'll eat one extra. So, you know, you might be eating something and you get close to the end of your food bar, you don't want to waste, you know, there isn't enough to eat a whole, you know, uh, steak or something like that. It's gonna, you're gonna waste a bunch of it. So you leave it a little bit off food bar, but then Minecraft just goes and eats an extra one for you. The way to get around that is uh, after you're, when you're done eating, don't want to eat anymore, just very quickly after, when you, after you let go of the food that you're eating, just click it again. And that'll stop it, stop Minecraft from doing that to you. Um, what else can we do here? I got thatch, straw. I could make up a few more clay items, but that's not going to be very interesting. Well, I guess I can show you the patterns for a couple of things that are going to be of interest eventually. <coughs> so this is same as when we were napping stone. This is the pattern to make a clay axe mold. Uh, this will be a new one. And it'll help us out a bit. This is a sword blade. Or a mold for a sword blade. Um, metal hoe we don't need. Uh, well might start eating it soon. Doesn't hurt to have one. Like I say these I can all place on the ground anyway, so they're not gonna take up my inventory space. Um shovel? Metal shovel? Ah sure eventually we'll need one. Let's do one of those up too. Okay, what do we got? Axe, shovel, a knife, metal knife is not all that useful. I mean, I probably will eventually have one, but don't need it right now. Okay, that's... oh. Well, let's see. Can I get... Oh, I've got a... How did you get in here? Apparently, my place is not as foolproof as I thought. did he manage to get in here? Well, I'll have to look tomorrow morning and, uh, <laughs> assuming it stops raining, and see where it is that they can climb up. I thought I had an overhang everywhere, so they shouldn't be able to climb up. Maybe he jumped? Is it possible maybe he jumped from the nearby ground? Well, anyway, I'll, uh, uh, I'll sign out here. Well, it's almost morning anyway, but let's just have a look here. Oh, yeah, it's only an hour to go. I can hear another spider still out there. Uh, I should make myself another knife at the very least. Spider died? What would kill the spider? Oh, it might have been drowning? Ha! Drown, you bugger.
Yeah, you notice that it didn't appear in here? Uh, it only seems that with knife blades for some reason, when you're napping knife blades. It's, sometimes it doesn't show up. It's there and you can pick it up, but sometimes it doesn't show up. Okay, let's uh, give it a handle. We have our backup knife. Let's put these guys on the ground. That's about all we can do right now. Get ourselves a drink. And let's see who's out there. Whoops. Who do we still have floating around? Probably that. Uh, oh, there's the creeper. Good. Oh, I wonder if the spider that died last string. Or maybe. Oh, no, I think the only string of. They die in combat. I don't recall. Anyway, it looks like it's safe to go. Out. Where the hell did that spider die? Yeah, let's just stay away from the uh, from the green goblin there. I don't want to fall into that. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer this fire has to run. This, uh, this, uh, b -b 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 pit kiln. That's the name for it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just, I'm going to just hang tight here. I'll check, see how our plants are doing. Oh, see that? Thought I heard something moving. See that? I think, not that one, but I think these three now have green peppers on them. Uh, and these guys here, they're, uh, these are the onions. They're starting to show at the uh, you know right near the base. They're not fully ripe yet, but even in this stage, I I could pick them and I'm probably I'll probably get at least two onions out of them, get seeds out of the others. So already the garden's almost to the point. Already the garden's getting to the point where it could give us some food, but uh, I'll wait. Wait until they're riper and maybe we can get more out of it. Since I have those beans to keep me going. Oh, there the fire ended. Pit kiln is done. All right, so let's get our stuff out of there. One, two, three, and four. All right, get this off of here. It's off of here. Need the mold. And you see, it says ceramic vessel, and it has liquid copper in it. And 200 units of copper. It takes 100 units to fill a mold. So we pour it into one of these rectangular molds and we have unshaped liquid copper and then we can pour that into the, uh, the shaped pick mold. And that gives us a pick head, which we'll get back to in a moment. Come back to our clay vessel, load up that ceramic. See, the only, the only concern I had, every time you, uh, use, uh, every time you use the, um, use a mold there's a chance it'll break so it was possible i uh, you, you know nor the on average i think you get like 20 uses out of them might be lower than that but uh my concern was that i could just you know roll a bad number and it would break as soon as i poured the one the one mold, the uh one tool head but if i had made two molds then i would still only have one tool head anyway so at least this way i get a chance and now this guy is empty again, and I can throw stuff back into him. Okay. Uh, put him there. Put the mold there. And now these guys. So to get the uh, tool head out of the mold, you just put it in your crafting table like that. We give it a handle, and we now have a pick. Yes. All right. And come here, same deal with a pro pick. Okay. Keep pushing this, uh, pushing this knife around. And I wish I could store a bunch of this stuff that I have in my inventory, but uh, I would need another uh, clay pot for that. Hmm. 
Okay, let's see if I can do this quickly here. Uh, I want a couple more clay vessels. Oh, that's the other tool I need to saw, yeah. Gonna need a saw. And what else am I gonna want here? I'm gonna want the sword. And I'm gonna want this other mold fired up. Okay, so just figure if I'm gonna be gone for a while mining, we might as well have another kiln firing going. Making some more goodies for us for when we get back. There we go. Drop that in there. Same old, same old. 15 of these. Um, grab. That's not a full stack. That's a full stack. Grab a full stack of those and pile them up high. Sell them cheap. Make ourselves a fire starter. Get him going. All right. What's the daytime? What's the hour? Ah, it's 11 o'clock. So we have a whole day ahead of us. Well, we have half a day ahead of us. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. And get back over to that tetrahedrite. Now, let's look at where all these little torches are. So the farthest one out, this isn't, nope. Farthest ones out are around here. So that's about 32. Now we go whizzing over in this direction. And the farthest out this way are... These are at 90. Oh, I've got more here. Oh, I wonder if these are actually two separate deposits. Oh, that would be bad. That would... Yeah, there's quite the gap. So I'm going to assume these are two separate deposits. So this is... 90, 32... That's 42, so I'll go 21 on 90 is 11. Okay, so around here. Yeah, who knows how far up in that direction it goes. I like this area right here. So, well, let's just go for it and try. So, not surprisingly, the Propic doesn't find anything. That's because it's going to be, the deposit we're looking for is going to be too far underground for the Propic to find it. Uh, let's do this. Okay. And now we dig down through a bit of rock. Just make sure we're down far enough that uh, we don't end up back into dirt when we start digging our side tunnels. Okay, let's go down one more. All right. Uh, we can put that there, and I should have a thatch left. And that'll protect us from mobs. And let's see if the pro pick has anything to say. Oh, found a medium sample of tetrahedrite. Bang. That's why the pro pick's nice. Okay, so we just pick any old direction. And we start hammering away.
And at this point, I got myself royally confused. Normally, when I'm playing in peaceful, I set my torches underground about 10 blocks apart. Here, I've been setting them six blocks apart, and I forgot about that. So when I was trying to calculate distances, I was multiplying by 10 instead of 6, and things got all confused. And while I know there's some schadenfreude to be had in watching a math major fumble around with basic arithmetic, I really can't shame my alma mater in that way, so I'm going to just pretend the whole thing never happened. 31 divided by 2 is 15, basically, so i got to go down to 105. Yeah, so for this I got a math degree. All right, so that's where we want to be here. Now we know where the ore body is in that direction. Now we got to work it out in the other direction. The nice thing is we're not, we didn't dig down very far. Well, I might be under the mountain now. I was going to say since we didn't dig down very far, we know that the ore body will be below us. But that's probably not true. Two, three, four, because the, uh, because I think we're now under the mountain. That's one reason it's not going to be true. One, two, three, four. Uh, the other reason it won't be true is we were picking up siltstone when we found all those, and now I'm in marble. So we know the deposit's got to be in, in the same type of rock that we were picking up, which was siltstone. Really? Oh, a very large sample there. Okay. Oh, these prospector picks are so unreliable. Uh, so I think what has happened is the siltstone layer has curved up into the mountain above. And uh, and this marble has welled up underneath it. So that probably means actually that we got to dig up. Yeah, this is my, my, my terra firma craft geology degree speaking. Terraformcraft geology isn't quite the same as real geology, just in case you were wondering. below it's got to be above it has to be above so Ah, there we go. Oh, I wonder if it's possible. Oh, actually, that looks like magnetite. No, that's tetrahedrite. Now that we've found the ore, I'm going to bring this episode to a close since it's already run a little bit long. Next episode, we should get a chance to do something interesting with that ore, so I hope to see you back for number four. Bye.